or in other hadith, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar on every tyrant. Allahu akbar on everyone that create problems. Allahu akbar on those who follow Iblis. Allahu Akbar kabira walhamdulillahi kathira wa subhanallahi wa bihamdihi bukratan wa asila. O Muslim brothers and sisters, it's not so easy to live in this life without doing a sin. Anyone who says, Oh, I can and I don't do sin. He is lying to himself. I don't want to say he is lying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah knows. His Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa knows. So we don't need to say that. But he is lying to himself. And the one who lies to himself brings the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because the first lie that people commit, and all of us, unfortunately, unfortunately, may Allah forgive us, Amen. we lies, we lie. We lie. I don't think there is someone who doesn't lie. Except Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi wasalam and prophets because they are ma'asu moon. And many of, I like to say all sahaba of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam. But Allah doesn't like anyone who lies. Because a lie deserves a curse. There is no other way. You lie, you get a curse. And evidence, because you can, in this dunya, you can say whatever you like. But you cannot say whatever you like in Akhir. You are stuck. There are different kind of suhba. There are suhba that always awliyaullah or, or the representatives likes to speak about it in the way that there are different, different ways of doing a suhba because it is maqamul irshad. It is the level of guidance and level of guidance is not something that you can easily achieve even if you are representative of a wali and as I explained before from Grand Sheikh may Allah bless his soul notes and Maulana Sheikh Nazim notes in many occasions I describe the different four levels of guidance, Prashad. We are not going to repeat them here, but I think uh, Warda book, books, they have that book. They are carrying that book. Who are the guides? Is, uh, is Warda books here? You have that book? Who are the guides? I recommend people re read it. Not because to sell it, it doesn't mean anything. Sell is only we are raising funds to carry on. But it's very important to know who has the right to speak. How you are lying to yourself and you want to speak. First look at your behaviors before you speak. There are 
the level of guidance cannot be given so easily. And there are four different kinds of guidance. First is Murshid at Tabarruq, the guide, the guide for Baraka. That when he sit, he brings Baraka with him. When he speak, he speak Baraka. And this is the first level. Although he has to he has to be given the authority of his sheikh to speak when he achieved in his progress the level of sainthood that allow him to at least hear these praises of angels. If he cannot hear the praises of angels, he means he is not yet in that caliber. He can I won't, don't want to go too deep in this. I'm trying to avoid to go to It's too big subject. But I give a hint. He can see the heart of everyone sitting in front of him and understand whatever he has done from his day of birth till that moment, he will know. And from that moment till the day of leaving dunya, he knows what that Murid is going to do, or that listener. That Murshid at Tabarruq. Then you have Murshid at Taskiyah. The Murshid that come after the level of the first one is the one that is able to purify your soul, purify your heart from every disease that happened, like a doctor rules out diseases in order to diagnose well your problem, Murshid at he tried to ra raise you up, purify your soul, and purify you from lying in order to achieve a level that you become pure. Taskiyatul Nafs, that's mentioned in Holy Quran. As, as Allah mentioned in that verse بسم من أموالهم صدقة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم خذ من أموالهم صدقة تطهرهم إن صلاتك سكن لهم إن صلاتك سكن لهم إن الله سميع عليم الله is saying to سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Take from their wealth. Take from the wealth of Sahaba. Means take from the wealth of everyone. Sadaqah. Something, a donation. In order to to tahiruhum wa to zakihim biha. To clean them and then to purify them, to raise them up. Inna salataka wa salli alayhim and pray for them because your prayer is a tranquility. It will be peacefulness into their hearts. So awliyaullah they have from that secret. That's why it is always advisable for someone to give in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever he can or whatever she can. Because as if they are giving to Prophet. When you give in Allah's way for a homeless, for a poor person, for a sick person, for a masjid, for a charity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes that. And his prophet likes that because you are helping. Then prophet will, will raise you up to purify you. And that is being given to the inheritors of prophet to awliya Allah to do that. So this is Murshid at Taskiyah. We go to Murshid at Tasfiyah. Murshid at Tasfiyah is the one that, for example, there is 200 people in a in a meeting, and that Murshid is trying to purify everyone, as we said. After he finished, they have to go to the third level, which is with to sit with with the guide of 
the one who take the cream of the of the 200, for example, of the community. We call the sift, sift, the sift one, the one who sift people, put them in the sift, shake them, check them, keep the cream, let the rest go. Keep them, send them back to Murshid al Taskiyah. So Murshid al Taskiyah, the one who check them to keep the cream is very important in the role of the life of human being. Then we come at the end to Murshid al al Murshid al Tarbiya, the real one. Means the one that raised you from beginning, from the day you were in the day of promises, in the day of Alastu Rabbikum Kalubala, from that day he is with you until you will see your place in paradise, he is with you. He knows everything of your life when you were in the day of promises, when you were soul in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet, coming to dunya in the womb of the mother, his companion, your companion, coming to live in your life, he is seeing you, helping you, going to grave, he is helping you, going to day of judgment, he will be there for you, taking you by shafa'atun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Allah's mercy, to your place, to your, you sit, your chair, in paradise, you know these chairs, yesterday we had a, a we were in a meeting, conference, lecture, and there were seats written on it, reserved. You cannot sit there, it's by name. That will you make sure that you have a reserved seat there. Not any seat you'll be given. He wants you to be in a seat that is reserved to you by your name because of the work that they did for you to bring you to the love of that one. Where yesterday was the topic, where is the love? Is the love when you really love Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will deserve that seat that is written on it, reserved under your name. Where is the love? The love on that seat. Because you will find the love of Sayyidina Muhammad waiting for you there in paradise. The love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala waiting for you. You will see Allah in paradise. Prophet ﷺ mentioned that Allah cannot be seen except in the in paradise. Not to everyone even. Only to those who are in Maqad al-Sidr. In the in, in a seat, Maqad, the seat of the seat of truth. Allah said. مع الذين أنعم الله عليهم في مقعد صدق عند مليك مقتدر in a in a reserved is in reserved seat in the presence of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allah mentioned it في مقعد صدق عند مليك مقتدر مليك مقتدر means the the Lord who can the power in his hand everything in his hand he will give you a seat there to sit on. That is where is love. Hey, where is love? It's there. You'll be able to see your Lord in the day of in the in the in, in paradise by Shafa'atun Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the most important, these are the four levels of guide. So make sure you know which with which one you are going to sit and listen. Not everyone say I'm a murshid, is a murshid. The, 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 the world is full of people that they call themselves murshid. Or being called by their student murshid, it's up to there. You are lucky. Not everyone is lucky. Everyone with his pure heart going to a sheikh, to a murshid, to someone that calls himself murshid. But sometimes you might find a plastic murshid, sometimes you might find a real murshid. <laughs> means sometimes you find someone who knows how to speak 
but no heart, no benefit. Sometimes you will have luck to have a real murshid. And Alhamdulillah, I am saying Alhamdulillah, day and night, was shukru lillah, day and night, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has connected us with a real murshid. Amen. With Sultan al-Awliya, Sayyidi Shaykh Muhammad Nazim al-Haqqani. That he is connected to a, another big sultan, Sayyidi Shaykh Abdullah al-Faiz al-Darastani, Sultan al-Awliya. That's not easy, not simple. If you spend the whole your money, your wealth, to find a murshid is very difficult. Because not everyone you, you think his murshid is, is that one. I'm 50 years with Maulana Sheikh Nazim and Grand Sheikh. Half century. And still not learning anything. Stupid and dumb. Yeah. Trying to follow with love. There is nothing else. You think we can do what they asking us? That's why Allah said subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh human being, if you want to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follow Muhammad. <coughs> then Allah loves you. <coughs> to follow in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in what? I will quote that hadith and I think it will be enough. If allow, unless Sheikh Munir will say continue, I continue. He's a very busy man, <laughs> helping everyone. His, all his children, mashallah, they are, I don't like to say they are like him, but they are trying to be like him. Very, uh, very dedicated ones. Daughters and boys. I know them all. And their grandchildren, his grandchildren. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor them always Amen. and give them more and more Amen. with their mothers and relatives, aunties and everyone. Amen. And all of you. Amen. And me included. Amen. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one of the Sahaba asked him, Hal al-Mu'min yasrik? You heard that hadith? Ali al-Mu'min yasrik? Do the Mu'min steal? Steal something? What you say? What, what, what you, if you, if someone asks you that question, what you say? Mu'min steal? You say no. But what Prophet said? He said, Rubbama. Might be. Do we steal? Are you stealing? Of course. Everyone is trying to steal the place of someone else. <laughs> to be more nearer to, to the lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very small example. In Islam, leave the seat for someone else. Sit at the end. Be nothing. Don't try to push. That's why in, in Jum'ah prayer or in Jama'ah prayer, wherever you find a place, you sit. You cannot over, over what? Jump, over jump road. <coughs> in order to go all the way. Who are you to go? These people are sitting since morning waiting for the Jum'ah, the Imam, and you are jumping, coming the last moment. Allah knows where were you in which uh, cafeteria or disco, and coming in front of everyone, passing all the roads, and they want to pray. And this happened always, mostly, mostly in Mecca and Medina. <laughs> Allah checking you, are you get, one going to get angry or not? Many times I'm sitting, going four hours before, sitting in Rauda to pray nicely. At the end, before the Azan comes, must be someone going to sit in front of you. 
<laughs> did you, uh, some of you did see that or not? So what you do? Some people they shout. But Adab, keep quiet. You don't know, might be that person Allah sent him, he's a wali. Or an angel testing you. Are you going to get angry in that place or not? Be, that's, that's, that's big problems. If we don't explain, we don't think about it. I see many people, they begin to shout at them, push them. Move this way, move that way. They don't want them to be sitting there. What is the problem? He sit in front of you, blocked you, because they sit between two rows. They make another row. <laughs> no, there is no way. You make such on him. No problem. <laughs> on his back. You cannot make such on the floor. Make on such on his back. <laughs> Become easy for you. Don't go all the way. <laughs> So Prophet Sallallahu said, Hal mu'min yasrik, he, he was asked, Hal mu'min yasrik, is the mu'min still? He has said, yes, because many mu'mins, many, many, they steal the bite from your, from your mouth. Means they want to take your, your, they compete with you to, if you are, you're putting a bid to get a, a, a project, hundreds of bids comes before you also to throw you out this is stealing Hal mu'min yasrik yes he said might be might be Hal mu'min look this big okay we understood yasrik we understood might be he said and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that it might happen Sayyidina Umar in his time, when he was Khalifa, people were stealing to eat because there was a drought. He stopped, he stopped the ruling of cutting hands. That is a Quranic ruling. He stopped it. Look how Khulafa al-Rashidun, Allah gave them wisdom. He said, these people are hungry. They can do anything for to eat. We cannot stop them. He is not stealing jewelry to put in his pocket or in banks safe of safe boxes. In safe boxes as today that men and women, especially men, both of the, both sides. Men having all these rings with diamonds, Rolex, uh, uh, Rolex uh, watches, all gold with diamonds, or all kind of uh, very expensive, because men they don't they buy except uh, watches. What they want to put in their hands? Uh, what you call it? A bracelet? Might be some men they put bracelets in their. <laughs> So when they put them, they don't put them in the house, they say put them in the bank. What's the benefit? What you are doing with them? Nothing. All of us, we have this problem. Women, they put their jewelry where? Do they put it in the house? No. Even if they fill their hands all the way up to their shoulder, they still they have to put the other in the bank. Correct? <laughs> and still they buy. <laughs> they don't stop. <laughs> Men and women, sorry. <laughs> Not all women. But some women. And some men. And Prophet Wasallam said, Now the second we are putting in a safe box because we don't want the thief to come and steal. So Hal Mu'min Yasrak, Mu'min steal, yes, he steals. Because the heart, you cannot stop. You have to put all, 
expensive jewels that Allah gave to you, put them in your heart. Don't let shaitan to steal it. People who are stealing from others or making hasad or jealousy or envy or hate. This is mu'min, they have that character. Don't say, uh, everyone is mu'min here. But do they hate or not? They fight or not? They curse or not? So then they ask Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mu'min yazni? Do a mu'min makes adultery? What he said? What do you think? He said. He said, Rubbama. Might be. Might be a mu'min makes a mistake and did it. Might be. Because shaitan is running after everyone. Then he was asked, I don't want to make it long, but then he was asked, Hal al mu'min yakzib? Is the mu'min lies? How many lies you lie a day? Huh? How many? Especially politicians. <laughs> Non-stop. Huh? Non-stop. هل المؤمن يكذب؟ قال أما هذه فلا. He said this no because it's the characteristic of Iblis in paradise. He was an angel, the head of angels. Because he was envy, he was envying Sayyidina Adam and envying Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he knew that Prophet is going to take Maqam al-Mahmud. He thought that Maqam al-Mahmud is for him, Iblis. When he knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving Maqam al-Mahmud, out of anger, out of hate, he lied. To whom? Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. They say Adam disobeyed. Wa'asa Adamu Rabbah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sa'asa Adamu Rabbahu Fagawa. Adam disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fell down. Why he disobeyed? There are many meanings, but one of them what we want here. Because he never expected anyone would lie. He, he did not expect when, when Iblis gave an oath to him that this is, if you eat from that tree, you will be always, that shajaratul khulb, the eternal, you will have eternal life. And he was giving an oath by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he mentioned the name of Allah, Iblis believed because he didn't expect anyone will lie on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Hal al Mu'min Yakzib is the moment lie lies said Prophet said this no way or else you'll be cursed like Iblis. How many lie lie lies? Are we lying a day? Forget all these lies that we are lying. Allah Ghafurun Rahim. Kul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah inna allaha yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'an. Say, oh my, my servant, don't lose hope from Allah mercy. Allah will forgive all sins. But repent. You are lying. 
We are lying in dunya. But we lied more. That's what is more expensive lie. When we said in the day of promises, when Allah asked us, who am I? And we said, Ya Rabbana, you are our Lord, you are our creator. We came to dunya, we lied of what we have promised there. We declined by lying. Means we lied in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is in danger. That is a dangerous issue. You cannot lie what you promised. You cannot decline what you promised. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There you signed a contract. When you said, you are my Lord, Ya Rabbi, you signed a contract. When you said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, you signed a contract. You cannot breach your contract. When you lie, you are breaching your contract. Your contract become with penalty. Go buy a house. Buy a house. How many pages they give you to sign? <laughs> huh? In Singapore, how many pages? <laughs> Too many. Lawyers, lawyers, and small letters, small letters. You cannot see them even. <laughs> and they put one point here, one point here, one comma here, one semicolon here. And one something here, one something. You move one, even one, the, the dot, the period. If you move it from one place to another place, the whole contract is changed, the meaning. You cannot do that. You need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. Why they hired lawyers? No? You don't need a lawyer to, for you to, uh, to defend you in day of judgment? O oh Muslims, be happy Allah granted us a lawyer that he will take care of everyone. <laughs> Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi afdal salatu was salam. And the one who is going to present your case to Prophet is your guide. Be happy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connected you with a complete perfect murshid. Amen. <laughs> That you be able, he will be able to present your case. But my talk is to these people who are watching there, and they can spread the message. Be worried from lying on Allah and His Prophet, making yourself a murshid and cheating the people. The people has no sin on them because. With full heart they came to your door. You, if you cheat them, you the, the one that you claim you are murshid and representative, if you cheat them, you are the one responsible. You would carry all their sins, it's your responsibility. You cannot send your, these sins away, you wave it. You will be carrying it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from lying Amen. and from claiming something that we don't have Amen. we are weak servant Amen. we have nothing Amen. no irshad no representation no deputies nothing if they let us to say speak we speak if they don't we are worse than any child here than anyone here you go and I'm surprised. Can I ask a question here to the audience? Huh? Why you are not watching Maulana Sheikh Nazim Sohba on the internet? You claim that you are following him. If President Obama is going to give a speech, everyone will open the, the TV wants to see what is he is saying. Correct? Yes! If a politician in Singapore or in any country or anyone wants to give an important message, everyone will open. Is not? Yes. Why are not opening your internet if you have an internet and watching your sheikh speaking every day at 10.30 your time evening? Why you are not watching? Any excuse? No. Because we can see who is coming, uh, uh, watching or not. 
from their emails. <laughs> I'm not seeing more than four or five people from Singapore. Where are the thousands of people? If you cannot watch with an excuse on the, on the right time, but I don't think any Singaporean has an excuse because it is the right time for you, 10.30 evening. Some countries people are working. So they can watch later on demand. But Southeast Asia, all of them they have the same time. All of you can see in here, Malaysia, in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia. How many hours Australia? It will be 12 o'clock. Eh? 12 o'clock. So you are excused. You can watch it later. But Singaporean, why you are not watching? Malay, Malaysian, why you are not watching? Indonesian, why you are not watching? If you claim that you love the Sheikh, I am not saying, but you don't, it's up to you. <laughs> but I'm encouraging you. We, Alhamdulillah, with Maulana's Baraka, we, it's not easy to broadcast from different countries. And we are we have all the equipments there. We have special people sitting there to back it up every moment because a lot of electricity cuts there. But alhamdulillah, we are able to broadcast. <coughs> and we, I will tell you, there are 1,400, 1,400, nearly 1,500 TV stations on, on st uh, uh, stream life. Is that uh, Ali? Live stream. 1,500 stations. Where the four in rank to be watched, the, the, the highest to be watched. The first one was the uh, Mexican one. It's, it's, it's a Christian TV station. It has like 30 million viewers. We beat them now, and we, we, we are the first now, because they go by week, by day, by week, by month, by full time, for, by, from they began till now. So they have 30 million viewers since they began. We were having approximately 1 million since we, 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 we began, we began like many years ago. Now we reach 9 million or 10 million in two months. No, now we are the, the highest in rank. First TV station on live stream, above 1,400 TV stations. Means there are viewers in hundreds of thousands are watching. We have all our archive all on that. You can watch it. I'm not going to be longer than that. But Alhamdulillah, I want to give you a good tiding this year. Uh, we have, you know, four years ago, we have established Sufi Muslim Council of, of England. And we struggle a lot because too much obstacles. And uh, this year, we were the number one to be invited by the mayor of London in Trafalgar Square for celebrating Eid al-Fitr. So we were the, the, uh, the first, or, uh, first organization to be asked and we were all our, our team was on stage. Uh, we had uh, two, two, two ladies that they are singers from uh, Jamaica. Uh, pearls, pearls of Islam. Pearls, pearl and pearls of Islam. Pearls of Islam. I always forget their name. They took by with us like three years ago. And they are the best in London between the Muslim community as women. So they were on stage. And the Naqshbandi Ensemble of America was on stage this year. And uh, 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 America and England. Uh, on stage performing in front of 50,000 uh, people and this one Ali was conducting the Naqshbandi Ensemble. How was it? Well, 
So it was broadcasted, and alhamdulillah, we brought the name of Maulana Sheikh Nazim, because every year we hear people on the stage, but we never heard they bring their Sheikh's name. This year, I asked intentionally, Ali, mention Maulana Sheikh Nazim's name in front of everyone. So we are trying our best to do something different, and we hope that, inshallah, we will be able to achieve more and more, as long as we do not lie. As long as we do not create problems in our countries. Be peaceful people, humble people, take care of your government. Muslim, non-Muslim doesn't mean anything. You must obey the law, obey the country, obey those who are responsible, they are watching your, uh, they are guarding you from any outsiders, support them and help them. Because then you help yourself, you help your community, you help the Islam, you help the Muslim. May Allah forgive us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala bi hurmat al habib, hurmat al fatiha. Tahabbal Allah. I think most of you are hungry, but uh, because I have a jet lag, I'm not hungry. That's why I'm keeping you. <laughs> Uh, Sheikh Munir, the owner of the house, is hungry also. <laughs> yeah, they are hungry, but tell me, uh, yeah, sure, yeah, we pray, we make the prayer, and inshallah, we, where we are going to pray? Outside? No, pray here. Here. Yeah. So we can extend to outside? We can extend to outside. <laughs> Make such on the back of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa akbar wa akbar أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلا قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة وأكبر وأكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله